Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. It's good to be with you this morning to share a devotion. I've been going through a series called Receive the Blessing. It's an Advent series put out by The Vineyard. This is the third week of Advent, and the promise for today is that Christ comes to you as the way to the Father, the one who cuts a path for you into your future that leads to your destiny in God. John 14, 6 says this, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. You know, Advent is always a special season of remembering and waiting and anticipation of the birth of Jesus. Now, Jesus is here among us, but this season gives us the opportunity to anticipate and expect the Messiah who was sent to save us, who was sent to rescue us. And in this week's devotion, as we're thinking about Jesus as the way to the Father and Jesus coming to save us, to rescue us, to rescue all of humanity and all of the earth, it's so appropriate in this very difficult year to long for a Savior. We have so many people around us, maybe ourselves, that are in a place of heavy heartedness, where we have things in our life that are very difficult, whether it is our jobs, uh, employment, things related to COVID. Um, I know many people that are, are underemployed or not employed, uh, due to the pandemic this year. And there's a lot of struggles. And Christmas, when we are struggling, it can feel like even greater pressure because there's the expectation that maybe our family has for Christmas being really special and gifts and all the things that um, a commercial Christmas has come to mean. And I love gifts and I love giving gifts. And it is tough in those years where money is tighter uh, to not feel badly that we can't do as much. So there are people struggling economically. There are people struggling with loneliness uh, because of isolation and quarantine. There are families that are struggling with how we get together at Christmas. What do we do? Um, how do we care for each other, but how do we care for our mental health and our family connections? So this is a time of year that has both the opportunity for such great joy as we remember the birth of Christ. It also is a time of year that can have such great opportunity for sadness when we've lost loved ones, or sadness if life isn't going well, or sadness because of how um, our lives have been so impacted this year, especially by this pandemic. So many times we have to look to Jesus to save us, to rescue us, to provide a way to the Father for the help that we need. So you may be fearful or have a heavy heart during this season this year. You are not alone. You have people that love you and Jesus who leads you to the Father loves you. There is a way that seems right, the scriptures say, but it only ends in death. That's Proverbs fourteen twelve. And then in another place in scripture, we hear in the heart, in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Proverbs 16, 19. Christmas is God saying to us 
there's a new way for you to go forward and it runs through the heart of my fatherly love for you. Jesus is that way. Don't wait for a financial miracle like winning the lottery or a relational connection like the right contact or some employment opportunity, the perfect job to set your path. I am your way, God says. Intimacy with me is the path to hope in your journey and I lead you to love and approval. And as you draw near to me, I will guide your steps, show you my loving way forward, and fill you with a deep sense of God's promises for you. That's what Jesus promises today, a way forward out of your heavy heart. Now, maybe right now you are wandering in your calling because you don't feel like you're hearing the voice of God. Some call it a drift, like we lose our way because of apathy, because of our circumstances, because of a lack of awareness that God loves us and has a design for our lives. The fact is, sometimes God's way of doing something takes too long, and we want to speed up the process. And then when our way fails, Sometimes a looming wall of fear appears around us, and it feels like we are trapped on every side. But God has a plan for our lives, and the coming of Jesus at Christmas is God's very declaration that says, Hold the course. My way is the best way. Know my love for you, and you will arrive at your destination. We'll always come back to God's way, his presence, his words, his model for living, being the best way. And living in the way of Jesus is the only way we'll ever ultimately get through our circumstances to God's future for us. Our Christmas promise is true. There is always a way forward because Jesus breaks through all obstacles that keep our hearts walled in with fear. The scriptures tell us that it is God's perfect love that casts out fear. And that's the promise of Christmas this week, that Jesus is the way forward to God's heart for you, to God's love that will break down the walls of fear that may be making your heart heavy this Christmas season. So how is Jesus, as your way, the answer to each of the obstacles in your path right now? I encourage you to meditate on that today. Spend some time asking Jesus to show you the answer to the obstacles that are in your path right at this moment and then receive the blessing of Jesus, God's love expressed to you this Christmas, and embrace his way forward in your journey. Let the Father's love heal your fearful heart with his approval and affirmation, and welcome his better path for your life. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that you have made a way for us. God, you have prepared a way for us. And it is in this season of remembering, it is in this Christmas season that we remember that the path forward that you sent us was your very son, Jesus. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and the path to relationship with you. God, I pray for my friends today, those who are struggling, those who are struggling economically, those who are struggling relationally, those whose hearts are heavy and fearful today. I ask, Lord, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, you would break into each life 
and reveal your perfect love that casts out fear today. May the promise of Christmas, Jesus himself, come and meet each person in those deepest places of their heart that feel heavy or burdened today. I pray this in the name of Christ. Amen. Friends, go in peace today. I pray that your week will be filled with the love of God and that it will nourish you and encourage you in every way. Have a wonderful week. See you next Tuesday.